Hi guys, it's Shantin here. I have done a reasonable amount of recladding our new farm here. You saw in the last video that I was starting to amend the porch and what I've done here is I've raised the land, I have run a path along and then I've picked up the detail around the doors that we have in the other buildings and I've picked up the detail of the cobble with the dark glass. Now, all the way around here, said she, running around in darkness, everything's going to spawn if I'm not careful. Actually, let's not do that, guys, because the thought of having some sort of creeper blow me up and having to mend creeper holes when I have spent so much time uh, actually piling earth on top of each other quickly sleep. I've taken down a lot of oak and I've piled it all in this chest so dog your oak is in here and if you don't want it I'm sure at some point somebody else will be grateful for it. So I've reclad the roof completely. Um, I've changed it to spruce and cobble because that matches the roofs that we have in spawn. Because when we started building, of course, all we had basically was spruce and cobble. So it matches that. And I have piled earth all around the building to bring the level up and take some of the sort of massive look away from it. At this end, um, I think it looks a lot better. Uh, it may look odd having this line of polished... Ooh, diorite. Da is it diorite or andesite? Andesite, I beg your pardon, down the middle of it. That's where the ladder is. I've put the glass windows in and that actually makes the building feel better from inside and out. I'm not sure what to do under the eaves yet. I'm thinking about that. I've run a line, I have built all the earth up here. I have run a line of cobble very carefully around here and I've managed to run a line of cobble there. I'd like to take the line of cobble all the way round um, and round the bottom and the top in two lines, but I don't... Oh, hello. And a skeleton as well. What are you guys doing? Where's that creeper gone? You're hiding behind a tree, aren't you? Yeah, I thought so. Now, on the adage that where there's one creeper, there's normally two. Let's be a bit careful. Looks like a nasty little area around here, but, as I said, I'd like to run two lines of cobble round. Um, and there's, there was a very great peculiarity in the building up there, where there was actually a block missing, and I don't know why. Um, but if I run the two lines of cobble round as I want to, I don't know what's behind these walls and frankly um, I tried on the other side and found myself in a water stream and thought do not do this. I managed to get a line around the bottom here but again I don't touch the top at all. I took the eaves out further. The roof was level with the edge of the building so I brought the eaves forwards one at either end and out by one as well which again I think gives it a better view, but also I've added these posts at the corner which are picking up the details over here of the room, the portal room. And I think again that just binds everything a little, little bit better and it binds the porch in as well. So guys, I can't do more than that because I'm not entirely sure uh, what is behind these walls, but even raising the earth level and taking the roof to a different colour I think makes it look much much better. Let's go and have a look from up the pathway up here and you can see I don't know if you can see it from there, I think we can Yeah, can you see how it melds in better than just the plain oak? As I said, if we had some lines of cobbler lying there, it would meld in even better. Uh, but all the same, it's suddenly now really, I think, 
fits in better with the style of build we have here just in that little area. I do need to think about what to do under the eaves though, I'm not sure what to do with that. It still looks a bit plain. It's a brilliant farm though guys and it's working because all the time I was working on it I could hear it, it going sort of, well that sort of funny whooshing click sound that you get when pistons are working and things like that. And coming through here, um, when you come in here, now, I don't know whether it's supposed to be a jack-o'-lantern farm or a melon farm. It's producing melons and pumpkins, and here it's producing melons. It's not producing jack-o'-lanterns, and I don't know why. But it's definitely producing a bit of both, and this chest seems to have picked up a couple of melons from somewhere. I've put more lighting up there, and I'm one fence short that I need to go up. The roof is really quite beautiful up here. Yeah, you can hear it working, can't you guys? Um, I put lighting down there and I think it was there before, but if it's not, I've added more lighting and that was the piece I was missing. The roof is particularly beautiful. and I do like it with the cobble and the spruce. And I think from down inside the farm, uh, the doorway gives a view out so you can see whether it's night or day. But also I do think it opens up this end to have the windows and gives it a less claustrophobic effect. But if it's meant to be putting torches into jack-o'-lanterns, it's not quite working, so I don't know why. I don't even know how you get into these things. So guys, an afternoon well spent doing what Dog said I could do, which was to have a go at recadding the building. Dog, if you have any ideas of the eaves, or if you know whether it's safe to replace the cobble in a couple of lines, please let me know. I know that Winnie helped Dog on that, so well done guys for a really, really nice new farm in Spawn. That will save us all a lot of trouble. So thanks a lot guys. And on that note, we will say bye-bye, looking at my witch's tie.